Hello guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Hope you're okay, we're okay, very busy. Back to school for me, the Easter holidays are gone. School every day and lots more besides. A random flurry of vlog this week. Enjoy all the different genres on one video. <laughs> Enjoy. Wonderful, warm and breezy weather today. And that's great flying weather for the soaring birds such as Wurzel here the bald eagle so let's go and see what he wants to do the wind's slightly in the wrong direction for maximum lift let's see if he can work with what he's got it's all wrong and he's gone a long way but he's done proper soaring bird skill round and round and round off the slope down in the distance there <whistles> let's see if we can get him to come back over this way which is going to be hard there's a long way out but he's got a good bit of altitude and that's key because if you can see me past the tree line then we can attract his attention i really hope that's not him it is him yeah he's lost a bit of altitude now <whistles> the more altitude he loses over there he's going to lose loads of lift and there's going to have to if he loses height he's going to have to fly back under his own steam he wants to use the elements so if he gets any lower he's just gonna have to battle his way through here he comes so he's lost that height which is a shame maybe a bit of chicken here for him that's the sound that says dinner's served in he comes what a beauty what a great boy to work with this really. where's the look oh where are you the bald eagle Smooth snake has just taken a thawed frozen pinky out of my fingers. Notoriously difficult to get from eating a lizard based diet to sort of a more easier to sort out mammal based diet. Not my doing. I was told they were eating pinky mice and rat pups already, but to have one of these fussy, finicky things take a pinky from my fingers let's hope it doesn't swallow the whole leaf as well incredibly lucky and even more so because it's the male and i know the female has been eating wasn't sure whether he has been he put that little little screw in the way britain's rarest reptile unless you throw in vagrant sea turtles and we're lucky to have these as part of our educational team and future British reptile collection in outdoor enclosures. Wow, it's windy today. The sun's on the outdoor enclosure. I've been sort of weeding it out to make some more sunny space. The pool frogs and the edible frogs, most of those have just splashed back in. I found one of the spade foot toads while I was, not spade foot toads, yeah, spade foot toads while I was disturbing it. And then down here, one of the slow worms is basking. Now it's towards, it's sort of three quarters of the way through April. The only reptile I've seen in there is that slow worm. Now there's a common lizards there's other slow worms and I'm really hoping that as the overnight temperatures warm and the day temperatures warm we're going to see everyone else has made it through hibernation but for now frogs and the same slow worm interestingly it's the dark slow worm. So this one's much, much darker than the others. It's originally from Scottish stock. So whether it's more acclimated to soaking up the heat being darker and it's enabling it to come out earlier than the others, I don't know, but it's an interesting observation. I can't wait to get some proper outdoor enclosures for a variety of UK reptiles set up here other people to enjoy not just this small woodland one as my trial
it really is a magnificent time of year to visit Holdenby and Icarus Falconry Centre. It is absolutely beautiful. The blossoms out, so it's ahead of all the sort of the, the summer flowers in the gardens, but what you're getting is the tail end of the spring flowering and these magnificent blossoms and the beautiful shades of green just just flowing through the countryside, the gardens and the estate. There's all this lovely lush. Just look at these conker trees. That, you know, that first flushes of the greenery of spring sort of running into the end of May is absolutely stunning. The birds are here. They're great. Everything's looking great. It really is. So come and see us this weekend, guys. Holdenby.com. It really is a completely holistic family time out with all of your family from young to old. And I can tell you now, when we're doing our birds of prey displays, probably especially our animal talks, that really is for every single member of the family. Everyone's going to enjoy it. You really are. Really hope to see you soon. Here's a blast from the past. I've just been to the dentist, first time since lockdown, to get a couple of repairs done. And here, just around the corner where I parked, is Dustin Village Hall. Look at that old building. I went there for play school, or what it, preschool as it's known now. Look at that. I have clear memories of going there, my mum dropping me off and kicking and screaming because I didn't want to be in there. I wanted to be in the cul-de-sac street we lived next to a field full of butterflies, chasing butterflies around the street with a bandy net when I was already at preschool age. School for me was nothing but a kind of, a bit like being in prison for the day, it time dragged because I was just so fascinated in the outdoor world. I just didn't want to be locked up all day. I wanted to be outside in a garden or playing in the street where other insects lived. Even when I was at preschool age, look at that. It took me right back just seeing that building. Look at these guys all enjoying the sunshine. They've all roamed around and funnily enough, they've all came back to this spot here and just sunbathing. Mediterranean, Mediterranean and the, the two sulcatas here. Just loving it. Just like we do, just loving soaking up the sun, warm sunny rays. And then over here, they've got their wallow. And that gets filled up once a day. They have a good old guzzle if they want to. They don't need to drink really, they get enough water from their food, but my goodness, they do like to fill up their water reserves, give them the chance, that is for sure. Great. It's coming to find you. He's actually coming to get with you. <laughs> you little swine. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, fly me. Savage beast. Tickle, tickle. Oh. Oh, I can go. It's gonna get the back of my leg in a minute. God, it's like having a. It's like having. What are those brown and white dogs called? Come on. Jack Russells. <laughs> it's like a Jack Russell with flying wings. That's it. There he goes. Oh, quick, let's see him fly. He's still gonna come back and get me now. There he goes. Look at these guys. They're at it again. False water cobras. Hypo male, normal female. And they're already mating pretty much as soon as they get together. So this is a night quarters for the tortoises. And both sulcatas and both Mediterranean ones come in here. And they, these guys never have any problems whatsoever, despite what people say about mixing species and cohabit. Although, <laughs> yeah, the male sulcata is trying it on with the largest Mediterranean tortoise who has retreated to her shell and pushed herself to the ground. I mean, come on, that's taking the mickey now. Look at him, not even ashamed of himself.
I've got to get to school. Can't find the pups. Let me back out here again. Look at them. Not even sunny. I have to live in the lap of luxury all the time. I'm going in now. Come on. These guys have had a long hibernation this year. These are Mediterranean, are the European eyed lizards. Massively great animals and brings back big memories of living in Spain. The males of these get huge, the biggest lizard in Europe. These are sort of well grown on youngsters. Absolutely beautiful creatures. Often called jeweled lacertas nowadays, but eyed lizards is what they are. <laughs> and these are in temporary in here. They've always been destined to go into an outdoor summer enclosure with our Mediterranean tortoises. Money and time, eventually, that's where we'll see these amazing animals and watch them grow to their full potential. Hopefully build up a, a colony, depending on the size of the enclosure, because these are very territorial. The males get huge with big heads, and they really are beautiful, beautiful creatures. They can get hand tame. It depends on where they're kept and the individual. So these animals have been, depending on what enclosure they've been in, in my reptile room, they've been hand tame and literally come and take food from my hands. And in other enclosures I've moved them to, quite skittish and hide as soon as you approach. At the moment, they're kind of in a in-between stage. Look at those. Absolutely beautiful. And to be honest, out in natural sunlight, like a lot of the certain lizards, is really the way to go. It, it's better for their health for these guys, and it certainly really brings out the colours that these, these beautiful animals can have. For now, they're slumming it up in a vivarium, but not forever. Now for the macabre. There's a small barn where we fly our barn owl sometimes to and from an open window for photography days. Emma and Joe have been putting her through her paces. This is the first photography day of the year is going to be coming up soon with Bob Brinsearch, wildlife photographer. And in the barn, owl pellets. Lots of tawny owls here, but these were barn owl pellets. Look at this. Lots of vole skulls more than anything else. And just a few pellets. What efficient pest controllers owls really are. It looks a bit like something from some weird horror film, but dissecting owl pellets, as many schools still do, really does enable you as a scientist, a scientist, biologist, and naturalist to find out what owls in a certain area are eating and it also tells you what animals live in that area quite often too. Oh, by the way, they don't breed in the barn. No one's disturbed them, there was no owl in there. But obviously a little bit of a roost that's been used over this winter for sure. Yuck. Got to say a massive thanks to Pete, free bird of reason. Remember, check out his channel, all about his Harris's hook. But a massive thanks. He's actually cut his last video where he came here to the Falkland Centre as part of the Easter openings. He did some great filming just for his own channel. And he's actually cut that video. So it's just basically a promotional video for our weekend open days. So I'm definitely going to put a link below. Please check that out. It's on his channel, Freebird of Reason. But it's basically a promotional video for us to use that he's just adapted for us. It really does show everything we're trying to achieve here at Icarus Falconry Holdenby House. It really does show the work that's gone into it and more than anything, the fabulous afternoon out you can have with your family from your littlest kids 
to your grandparents, there's something here that will enthrall the whole of your family. So please check that link out, have a look, just have a watch. You can get a mini glimpse into our weekends. Please come and see us soon. Sometimes when you work with these amazing animals, sort of day in, day out, year on year, decades, whether it's these amazing birds of prey, wonderful snakes and reptiles they keep, you do get a bit complacent. And of course that's human nature, isn't it? It's just how we are. But I have to pinch myself and remember that the first time I saw a golden eagle on a school trip, I was literally awestruck, literally awestruck. And of course, I have to remember now, when I do a talk here at the Falcon Centre, maybe or a school talk, and people can meet this guy close up and occasionally even touch him, I have to remind myself that must be an awesome experience for those people, young and old. Look at him. We say things like awesome and huge and wow facts and all this, but I think for a golden eagle, you just have to say the word absolutely is magnificent, isn't it? What a magnificent animal. Look at his feet and talons. An absolutely iconic apex predator. I've worked with this guy since he's dribbling. He thinks he's going to get fed. I've worked with this guy since he was 16 weeks old. And come October, he'll be back in his fitness training regime, ready to start his ninth Fulkery season. For now, school trips, scouts talks. Oh, that sun's bright. And chilling out here at the Fulkery Centre, where people can meet him up close and learn a bit more about one of Britain's top predators. Zeus, the golden eagle. Look at him. What a beautiful, beautiful boy you are, aren't you? And a gentle giant when it comes to the falconer and the eagle together. So very importantly, whoever's last out of the falconry centre, it's always important. We do a full walk round and make sure everything's as it should be. Not, oh yeah, I remember that, I checked that gate and I checked that bird, because I can tell you now, the one time you don't do a walk round at a place like this, before you leave, you miss something. My worst example, leaving a Merlin tethered out all night long. Up here, Tawny Owl City at night, how that little bird, it must have kept very still, didn't get eaten by a tawny owl, I'll never know. So a very, very important part of the job is literally just to walk around the centre, make sure <laughs> everyone is as they should be, everything's locked up, things are turned off that need switching off and so on and so forth. It is looking absolutely beautiful. And the best thing about being the last person here at the Fulcro Centre if you are that person, look at the kites, just chilling out now for the evening. Look at that. Beautiful birds. If you are that person locking up, closing up, it's an absolute peace and quiet. The sounds of our birds, often if it gets to twilight, the sounds of the wild owls. Look in there. Wait, what are you doing? Body boy. Just peace and quiet, no one's here. No customers are here, no visitors are here. And I have to say, on a slightly warmer, sunnier evening than this, it is utterly blissful. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Check out the other videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon indeed. Thanks for watching. And you know what I'm going to say. Please hit subscribe. Please press like. Switch on that bell notification. <laughs> see you next time.